Ellie Yeoman has been missing for five weeks, and no one is more upset than her father, Daniel. Every night he goes in her room and he says, good night, Allie. <laughs> it's here. Yeah. Tough. The family is rallying around Daniel. Daniel's having a tough time. How's he doing? He, he tends to keep things in. Um, it's hard for him. It's really hard for him. That's his baby girl. He's used to seeing her running out of the door, going, okay, I'm gonna be back, da 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 or I'll see you later, Dad, or I love you. You could talk about a person and tell them you love them so much, and when you don't hear it back, it's, it's terrifying. Um, so yeah, he's having a tough time. The night Allie vanished, she met a mystery man for dinner. He's the last person believed to have seen her alive. Did you have anything to do with the disappearance of Allie? I had nothing to do with the disappearance of Allie. We tracked down 37-year-old Mike Lizarraga, a contractor in Yuba City, California. He agreed to speak with Crime Watch Daily, telling us he met 20-year-old Allie only once before when she was on a date with his nephew. So did she actually reach out to you? She said, I'm coming to Yuba City. Um, you know, what are you going to be doing either Wednesday or Thursday? Why do you think she reached out to you, only meeting you once? I asked her, I said, hey, why out of nowhere? You just hit me up and was like, hey, I'm coming to town. You know, you want to hang out? She's like, well, I just really like the way that you talk to people. You seem like you listen pretty well. Mike says all she wanted from him was some dating advice. She did talk about how she had a crush on somebody, and she's just like, I just want to know, you know, am I trying to hurt? Mike says after dinner at this Indian restaurant in Yuba City, she invited herself to his house. He says his son and one other couple were there too. She's just like, okay. She's like, well, I got a bottle of wine. I was like, I got some wine too. She's like, well, I'm going to come by. And I'm like, yeah. She was chugging, you know, my bottle of wine. I was like, okay, maybe she's in party mode right now. You probably should just pass out on the couch for a while, get some sleep. No, I can't. I got to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, get ready. I got to be at work by 6. So I was like, okay, I get it. I get it. I said, but you have been drinking. Oh, I know, you know, but I know the back roads really well. But when Allie took the back road, somehow her truck ended up stuck in the mud at this orchard. That's when she vanished. And you actually offered a polygraph. No, when I was at the sheriff's department, I said, I don't care whatever it takes. You guys can do whatever, whatever you guys want. You can polygraph, you guys want, you know, what do you want? Do you believe anyone at that house or Mike Lizarraga himself had anything to do with her disappearance? At, at this point, based on the interviews we've done and the surveillance and phone records that we've uh, obtained, I don't think so. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. So was Allie kidnapped? or was she the victim of an unforeseen accident? There's not a second that I won't, don't go by that I don't think about Allie and wonder what the heck happened. You know, maybe if I just would've hit her keys, but who's to say she wasn't gonna get picked up by somebody? She wanted to go home, he said, and sleep in her own bed, wash her face, and he let her go. She's 20, take her keys. The questions still linger but an unfortunate development might now bring the answers, even if they're tragic. Just days ago, a fisherman spotted a body in the Feather River, less than a half a mile from where Allie's truck was found in the orchard. The body was taken to the coroner's office in Sacramento for an autopsy, and authorities now reveal, tragically, it's the body of the 20-year-old beauty. But exactly what happened is still unknown. An autopsy will determine exactly how she died, and detectives will find out whether this was foul play or an unfortunate accident. This family has never felt this kind of pain. 